Iowa and Iowa State. Not much more needs to be said when these two teams get together for their annual meeting. The Hawks have won the last six games as they play for in Iowa City for the first time in four years. Let's head up to a sold out and loud Kinnick Stadium for the 69th meeting between the Cyclones and Hawkeyes. Opening quarter, first drive of the game, Iowa special teams with a big play. Lucas Van Ness breaks through the line to block the punt recovered by Reggie Bracey. And then it's a couple plays later. Iowa finds the end zone. LaShawn Williams in for the score, and the Hawks grab a quick 7-0 lead. Second quarter, Iowa looking to add to the, Iowa State looking to cut into that lead. Jarrell Brock going over the top. The ball pops loose, recovered by Logan Klemp for Iowa. Cyclones would finally get on the board from the leg of Jace Gilbert. He drills a 22-yarder to make it 7-3 heading into the half. Third quarter, Iowa looking to add to their lead. Monty Potabom. Coughs up the rock, ISU pounces on it. Kendall Jackson recovers for the Cyclones. And then they would go on a 21-play, 99-yard drive, capped off by this Hunter Deckers to Xavier Hutchinson touchdown. Iowa State with their first lead at 10-7. Hawks with one last chance. Aaron Blome, a 48-yarder, and it goes wide left. Iowa State snaps the six-game losing streak with a 10-7 win. Camille Gear was in Iowa City and has more from Kinnick. The streak is over for Iowa State for the first time since 2014. Iowa State is bringing the Cyhawk Trophy back to Ames, making the state of Iowa a Cyclone State. The name of the game was turnovers. Six total turnovers for both teams with three each. Former Western Big Six star Jirel Brock, a turnover for him early on in this one, but still a force on the ground. The junior with 100 of the Cyclones, 129 rushing yards. The other two turnovers for the Cyclones coming from QB 100 Deckers, throwing two interceptions, but he did have 184 yards in the air. But the Iowa State offense did just enough to get the job done. You know, it's great. And, and you know, I, I think from my end, that's, that's what's great about rivalry football. Um, but I, I think we can also put it in perspective. It's the second game of the football season. You know, from our end, if we let this shape us rather than define us, then we can use what we learned today and grow from it. Yeah, I mean, it's everything you dream of. I mean, to be honest, that's this is one of the games that I, I've dreamed of playing my whole life. Um, didn't really know which team I was going to end up being on when I was little, uh, obviously. But, no, it's, it's a dream come true. For the Hawkeyes, special teams and defense holding their end of the bargain. But Iowa's offense struggled once again with only one touchdown through two games, 92 yards passing from Spencer Petrus with one interception, 58 rushing yards for the Hawkeyes, and two fumbles, one which proved costly in the Hawks' first loss of the season. I just said today he played the, the whole game, uh, in my judgment. It was the best way to continue through this game and, uh, you know, gave it some thought, but it felt like it was our best opportunity. And, uh, you know, but we'll reassess everything tomorrow. You know, about what you'd expect. Um, you know, this is uh, there's it's a great rivalry, but um, really sucks when you when you you know you don't come out on top. Um, but credit to those guys for playing hard and uh, you know earning the, earning the victory. So Iowa State brings the Cyhawk Trophy back to Ames for the first time in eight years. The Hawkeyes, on the other hand, looking to reevaluate their offense ahead of Week Three in Iowa City. Camille Gear, WQAD News Eight Sports.